No, but that's correct. Yeah, getting rid of this is correct. I think I just go get Greninja here first. I think it's correct here. Just go grab the, the ninja. So they opened Rotom. I'm probably not scared of this thing dying. Like, I don't think I ever want to retreat this or anything like that. And it like this. Broaden the hand off the rip isn't great. It's like okay though. It's not that big of a deal, right? Yeah, I'm not scared of this thing dying. I, and I like if I get into another Ogre Pond mask, I'd want to have an energy for it as well. I think I should attach to the Ogre Pond. That's what we're trying to load up initially here. Yeah, so I just have to hope I don't top deck a, one of my one of attackers because I'm about to get him on my super run. Am I doing the best of seven thing with uh, Jake Yearheart today? Oh, or am, am I doing? Yes, I am doing that today. What's the worst food to try to eat while playing Pokemon? Probably wings. Yeah, probably chicken wings. A YouTube chat break as well? No. Oh, is it not showing up on the screen? It might be not showing up on the screen. But it's showing up fine here for me. I can see it fine. It's broken on the screen before and it just like fixes itself eventually or it fixes itself like at some point. But yeah, it's not playing on the screen. It looks like. Maybe that'll fix it. I'm not sure. YouTube chat always breaking. I know, bro. It's just like shutting down. I can still see the YouTube chat fine, though. Wait, now there's no chat on screen. All right, so I want to knock this out. With the little guy. I don't want to potentially draw into anything too bad here. So I'm just going to play this. Grab this. Attach active, play research. Um, I mean, I could super add an energy back, but I actually, I don't think that makes sense. Actually, it's like so likely we're drawn to so many energy here. All right, we got the little guy. Start with some concealed cards. Oh, they could have retreated too. They had a rescue board. Why didn't they retreat that thing? What the heck? Are they trolling? Damn it! I, yeah, it kind of popped up there. So I put the last pawn in play actually is a question I'm de debating here. So I want enough energy in play. I can just like do the math, right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna lose three energy. I'll have four in play. I can put three, four in play next turn. I have the rescue board. So theoretically, I don't need this ogre pawn to actually get enough energy in play to use weird ear next turn, right? Honestly, I don't even know if weird ear is prized. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and, or and evolve that. I'm about to discard off here, plus two here. That's three, and I have four, and I have five, six, seven, eight. Well, I guess I don't need this, so I bet you this makes more sense then, probably. Yeah. I would need the rest of your board in play. This deck generally doesn't play vacuum, I feel like. So if I get Iono next turn, I think I'd want the board in play. But I'd want to put it on an uh, Ogre Pond. Because they could go Gus KO this, I guess, if it has the board. Um, So I'll throw it there. This one's going to have no energy on it. About to spill the tea. Yeah, why did they retreat to a Dreepy or something? I don't know. Dreepies are like pretty important to try and make survive, though. I kind of get it. Like, Dreepies are pretty important to make survive because that is your draw power as well. Um, Weirders in deck. Okay, cool. Alright, that's our plan. That's our plan. Countercatcher boss. Oh, wait, I still have the Countercatcher in this deck. We definitely need to cut the Countercatcher. Yeah, Countercatcher should get cut for sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <clears throat> Are you not on the Dragapult hype train that everyone else has been on? No, I think Dragapult's pretty good. I'm just not playing with it right now. It just sounds boring to play Dragapult. All right, squad's getting set. But will they have? Will they even have candy Dragapult here? I guess also another question, right? Yeah, because they might not. They actually just might not attack this turn, right? Because they would need a candy. Oh, dude, it's so cringe. Unfair stamp is disgusting. What a dude! And now my hand's just dead. I didn't even get an energy. Dude, I hate Unfair Stamp, to be honest. This card is so dumb. Unfair Stamp is so dumb. It's such an aggressive form of hand disruption, man. It's disgusting. Honestly, it, it, Unfair Stamp honestly might be toxic. We'll see how things uh, develop a little bit more with the card, but... Um, Unfair Stamp might be, like, super toxic.
I mean, I have like no like raw draw power in play. Like all my draw power in play right now is like dependent on energy, right? So that is like one thing. Like specifically against a deck like this, it feels worse than other decks, probably for sure. Um, yeah. It's like a choice for Lost Tina. It probably has to be maximum belt so you can KO Dragon Pulse. I don't know though, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. That'd be my guess, but. Quad Iona plus on Stamp is just so nauseating. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's definitely good. What do you say unfair stamp seems unfair? I mean, it can't really be unfair because we're like all choosing to either play it or not play it, but <laughs> I don't know. Plus you play Roxanne. Yeah, you can literally like go from like, you can literally go like unfair stamp turn two, Roxanne turn three. Like that's crazy. That's like so gross. Um, yeah, deck can literally go unfair stamp turn two, Roxanne turn three if they get the, if they get the response KO and then you go Iono uh to two or one at that point like it's that's just wild definitely pretty gross definitely very good definitely very good definitely very good card well it looks like they probably whiffed the attack this turn which is pretty good because my hand is literally dead um yeah <laughs> my hand is literally dead so Find a little bit of time here is nice. Oh, double roadie. Hey, okay, double roadie is pretty good. Do you play any Zard decks yet? Nope. No Charizard. They kill active. Oh, they do actually. Yeah, with the dragon headbutt. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, they do have the headbutt KO. That's fine though. We can KO them back. I'm okay with that. Candy four seal. Oh, they don't have it though, right? They don't have the. Don't have the play. I don't think. All right. I, there's so many. To Energy is a good top deck. Draw support. Oh, we got some draw supporters in there. Um. Got a lot of good top decks here. Let's get it one time. Come on. Okay. Seal cards. Okay. Or is really Energy on this one? I think. Okay, Iona's good too. Same with the Iona. I want some more cards. Vitality Band, I should probably just put this in play. Where would this ever matter? Weirdier hits for what? Uh, it doesn't help Weirdier's math to KO this. It doesn't help. Hmm, where does it ever help? 220 from this. I don't think it matters where I put this, right? But allow this thing to hit for 130, which I guess could KO the Alkazam. That's like the only thing I'm thinking about here. So I think putting it here makes the most sense, maybe. And then Iona. Not bad, not bad. Decent recovery there. Of course, we had like a billion top decks, so. Um, I think I do play this first because I want to draw into non these cards. Draw into other stuff. So. And I do want more energy in play because I want to be able to weird ear. Yeah, I want to be able to weird ear here. Even to the point where Ooh, did they ever KO this one? Did that ever happen? I don't know. Can they ever KO this? Can they, they... They don't play like a way to do 10 damage, right? I'm pretty sure they just don't. I could be wrong, though. Maybe they do play a way to do 10 damage. Uh, I could play a bunch of the Argophonics. Sorry, another energy. Well, no, I actually want to keep the Venture Race open. I want them to, like, board lock me out of Weird Ear, though. Yeah. I don't want to get board locked out of Weird Ear. What do we got ourselves? An Ultra Ball? That finds the deer. That finds the deer. Hmm. Jam can move the 10 eventually. Wait, what do you mean? Like, to this? Yeah, I get... Well, I'm going to retreat this this turn to Weird Deer, theoretically. So I shouldn't have to worry about that. But I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah, that would be on the next turn. I'm not really worried about the next turn. Dreepies are out. I appreciate the two months there. Uh, Ale 
Rex. Alderex. Are they even going to attack this turn still? Are they still going to miss an attack? Oh, the Iron is kind of annoying, to be honest. I think the Bug Catcher, Bug Catcher set can help build a better Torterra deck. Having energy and Pokemon available to get going sooner. Uh, Probably. I didn't really think about that, but probably. Yeah, I'd have to say, yeah, for sure, right? It makes sense. Makes sense. Definitely makes sense that it should. We'll see, though. We'll see. Gotta imagine so. Gotta imagine so for sure. Dude, if they whiff an attack this turn, that's kind of crazy. Dude, honestly, that it, I'm thinking about unfair stamp. That is disgusting. Being able to go turn like unfair stamp aggressively into rock sand potentially into yeah, just that's just gross. I'm like offended. I'm kind of scared of that next Iono from them. By the time I Iono them this turn, so they might whiff. The game designers have finally realized 2 2 2 is bad. Wait, what do you mean? Like two prize knockout, two prize knockout, two prize knockout, Jake? What are you saying? Unfair stamp changes that? Yeah, maybe. Wait, why does it change that though? Why does Unfair Stamp change that? Time to add to play one of uh, Genesect next set. Yo, the Genesect is sick. I'm so the Genesect. I'm super excited for the Genesect. Stamp into Roxanne is pretty hard to recover from. Dude, it's like impossible to recover from. <laughs> like, especially if you're getting punched by a Dragapult that's not taking prize cards, but is setting up for like a, a four to six prize turn, like. That's just you. How do you? Oh, dude, the Pulchy guys gets them every time, bro. It gets them every time. You love to see it. Good job, buddy. All right, so I need one more energy to actually attack with the Weird Ear here. Oh yeah, Weird Ear just goes so hard in this matchup too, because they. Well, dude, what if I whiff the energy? Oh, that'd be sad. They can't one hit KO Weird Ear. They play this and not Radzard. Oh no, they could move the two damage up and then KO my Weird Ear. But then they're not KOing this, I guess. Sure. I do need an energy here, though. I could whiff. I whiffed! Oh my! No! I needed an energy. How many do I play? 20? 19? Oh, and the counter catcher is supposed to become an energy, too. I should have attacked with this teal mask. Could I have? I don't think I could have. Oh. Uh. I whiffed. I think I still attack with it though. I don't know. We're attacking with it. I'm just doing it. Two eighty. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. Oh, that sucks. That is so. Uh, that just sucks, man. Well, now we maybe just lose. To be honest, now we probably just lose. They can draw four prize cards this turn, and I can't win next turn. Oh boy. Yo, appreciate the three months there. We. Did you not Ogre Pond ability? No. It attaches a Grass Energy from your hand to itself. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm actually... I, I think I'm going to cut the Countercatcher for a Vessel instead of just another Grass. Actually, I'm not sure about that. Probably, I'm probably going to cut it for a Vessel instead of just another Grass. We'll see how that feels. Dude, that is so sad. That is so sad.
Oh, does it get? I can't win, right? It's like impossible. No, I guess I could. Uh... Oh, wait a second. If I counter catcher this up, can they move this? Can they move this thing? That's two retreat cost. Oh, they play. They play. All right, they're down a switch and a rescue board. Do you guys think they play another switching card? No way. That'd be cringe. So either. So the, the result of this game is either I win. Oh, they didn't draw four prize cards though. Gosh, oh no, they did. Okay. Turo maybe. So the result of this game is either I win or they're cringe. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that outcome. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. They play two rescue board. Maybe. Do, they, do you know for sure? How do you know? What the heck? How do you know? What do I have left here? They used unfair stamp. So either the result is either you win or you lose. No, it's either I win or they're cringe. It's it's it's, it's a it's a no lose scenario. I don't lose in this scenario. Got him, T guy. Oh, he's got the vitality band. So next turn I can Masha splash for the knockout. Let's go. All right, concealed cards. Actually, should I have done that? Now I don't have an energy in my hand. Or maybe I'm cringe. But of course, when I shuffle all the energy back to the deck, there's a good chance I draw into an energy, but I could whiff. Yeah, what if I whiff now? That'd be hilarious. Oh my gosh, I almost came with the full HP one. Holy, I didn't realize we had that much energy in our discard pile there. Holy smokes, folks. Oh, I got the Iano. The yeah, Iano should almost guarantee draw us an energy here. Come on, one time. That whiff was unfortunate, but it's all right. There's no way they can move this Alakazam. Yeah, they might have a third switch card here. Do they ever? Do you play two rescue board ever? That's a lot of rescue board. I don't think so. Not a rescue board. You wouldn't play a second rescue board if you also play a switch, right? They could them playing a Turo. The Turo wouldn't be that big of a surprise to be honest if they play a Turo. Of course, they do have to find that with uh, limited draw power on board as well, I guess. So, might work out here. And with that rebrew. Dude, the more I play this deck, the more I enjoy this deck. This deck is like super sick. I don't think it's good though. I actually, I, yeah, I don't think it's good, but it's super sick. Super sick for sure. This is green golden go, but it's not the worst. Um, it's got a lot more versatility to it than Golden Go. Golden Go is like, if I find Palkia and can use Greninja, I can do that. Otherwise, I just have to one hit care of the active. This deck has a lot more. That's like comparing Chi and Pao to Golden Go. It's like Chi and Pao is way more stuff that it can do that is interesting. Um, that's why Chi and Pao is like good and Golden Go is like bad. But yeah, this deck, honestly, I think is probably better than Golden Go. It's like for the versatility of options for attacks. And also, we're not as consistent at one at KOing stuff at, at all with this deck. This deck is way worse at one at KOing stuff, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. It'd be really funny if I don't get the KO, though, with the matcha, the matcha splash now. Um, pass one time. Another Dragapult. Nobody cares about that. Are you going to play Guardi today? Uh, maybe. I don't have any real plans of what I'm going to play today. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today's one of those days where I don't have plans. All right. High chance of drawing energy here. Really high chance of drawing energy here. Okay, guaranteed. Lock it up. Let's go. The whiff into the dub with the rebrew trap, bro. Lock the Alakazam to the active. Oh, for a second there, I was like, oh, wait, I forgot about this, but this does not matter at all. The counter catcher actually, oh, oh, I got panicked for a second. I was like, oh, wait, do I actually die? No, I don't die. <laughs> I thought for a second, though, it was going to be possible. <laughs> and with that young splash. Easy, dub. The counter catcher is what made it possible, but I think the counter catcher is probably bad in this deck. So we're going to cut the counter catcher. Twitch should have rewind. You should be able to interact with the player live. You can't. That's something they need to add and have it added. You can go into 
um you can like go into my videos on my channel and then click on my the vod, the current broadcast vod and you can like interact with it from there that's obviously like it should be better than that but that is something you can do but definitely an l definitely now Meta radio. Yo, appreciate the the five months there, uh, Pokimari. Just switch over from YouTube because you mentioned the music. I hey mean, this is where the bangers are. If you're looking for some bangers, this is it. It's over here. I don't want to just put this here to lose it. Although I kind of want to retreat into a Pulchy Geist tier. Um. And we same with the Iona, right? Yeah. Because I don't want to. I want to keep my Super Rod and my Prime. Because I appreciate the five months there. Uh, Luziaro. Oh, I got the E-Switch, so I could attack turn one, but I won't be doing 120. It doesn't seem worth it. I seen need second little guy. Oh, I guess I could have used this first, though. Do I want to use this, though? Or do I want to save this for concealed? I think I just retreat in pass. Could load up one more energy and play through using this. <clears throat> that I don't have concealed cards. Uh, let me think for a second. I'm actually not sure about this situation here. I think I just pass. I could throw this up because I want to have. Do I want to be able to weird ear? Not. I maybe do want to be able to weird ear. To be honest, it's possible I do want to weird ear. One, two, two hundred. Attach. Ooh, I guess I want to be able to get there with energy, anyways. I think I just pass here. I mean, I think I'm comfortable with passing here. You'll appreciate the super chat there. I got ad for YouTube. No Twitch turbo. So lo-fi it is. I mean, yeah. Don't blame you. Which block that works. So I'm stuck here. Glad you do restream here. I really enjoyed having the double stream to be honest. I really enjoyed having the double stream. You appreciate the 25 months there, Vaughn. I really enjoyed having the double stream. The... YouTube and Twitch. Um, I do. I did. I was streaming on TikTok for a little bit there, but ah, TikTok's the TikTok client is annoying. That's the problem. The TikTok client is annoying. I wish I could just like restream to TikTok. Well, I kind of can. I have to like figure that out more. Maybe I definitely can do it through OBS. Also, being able to just do everything through OBS, it just makes things so much easier. All right. Um, sealed. I mean, we might just be punching with the Sinestra here. We'll see, though. Um, I could throw this one down and draw with... I mean, I'm almost guaranteed to get an energy off this, and I have each switch I get if I whiff. So I could just punch with this guy and punch this. But hey, and if I get weird here... I only have five, so I whiff. Damn. Um, yeah, I don't quite get the KO there. I could still find Prime Catcher or Boss KO on this, though. I could... Yeah, so I can Nest Ball here. I think I'm going to grab this thing. That's the kind of country I assume that's country. That's the kind of country I don't like. Not a huge fan. <laughs> Not as big of a fan there. I can actually thin out the deck first. I do this first. Energy. Wait, Pulcha Geist? I think so, right? The Pulcha plus the. We should do another one. Wait, could I have actually gone... Attach here. What are we doing? 120. Now we can't quite... We just can't KO this thing, right? Yeah, we can't just KO. So you gotta punch it. Yeah, I just gotta punch. Gotta punch. All right. First drop. Spill the tea. And I guess the question at this point is just how hard should I hit? But I think I should just hit as hard as possible, right? Yeah. I might have to hit less later, I guess, if I do hit as hard as possible right now. How many do they have in here? Just one. So I'm probably not getting boss this turn, but I could be. They could have like Ultra Ball plus boss, which would be kind of unfortunate. 
Which is the five months there, Corey the Mum. Pretty good card. It could be anything. They could be doing anything right now. Is it Jack? Oh, it's Nest Ball. I was like, wait, no, what is that? What the fuck? They didn't flip a coin. They got a Mancino to the hand. What the fuck? Oh, Great Ball, okay. <laughs> Dude, I was like, what is this one? It's a Great Ball, it's a Great Ball, it's a Great Ball, okay. Um, <clears throat> If that card capped at 280, would it be competitive? This thing hitting for 280 would be insane. This would be like so much better. I don't know if it'd be... Hey, what, what are you trying to say? What do you mean? Are you saying it's not competitive? What? That's weird. Why are you coming at Sinestra like that? That's a weird, that's a weird way to come at Sinestra. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. <clears throat> um, that would make it a lot better. Well, it depends on what's good in the form. Like being able to KO like V's and V stars would be nice. Um, the big question is like, oh, hands. But if I attack with a two prizer, they can just KO my two prizer with Lugia. Oh, maybe attacking with this, this turn was the correct play actually. Maybe I should have gone for a Macha Splash because they can't want to kill with Lugia. Ooh, wait, I definitely messed up. I should have Macha Splash because they couldn't, they couldn't hands me. But now I'm just going to get hands, which sucks. Huh. But I could go after an Archeops here, though. I could go KO Archeops here. And then they need boss for the hands to actually do a big play on the follow up. Because this is a, wait, they have the legacy energy in hand? Dude, cringe. All right. This is like a lot of energy invested. Uh, I could go after an Archeops here. They could just get this thing set up though to KO me back. And they could also have just boss KO my Greninja, which would also suck. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of in a bad spot. All right. Uh. Because the problem is, if I KO the active with this, I can do that. Then I only get one prize card, which sucks. We go two, two, two. But then they can just respond with a boss. Or this Lugia could KO me back. Yikes. Not looking good. All right. Kill cards. Oh, we got the Sinnoh. So I could go Sinnoh knockout. They have no Machino in play. No, but the Lugia can just come up and knock me out. That's the problem is the Lugia can just come back and like body me. How many do we have in here? Six? Hmm. I would definitely want to evolve this before I discard my hand. I did just draw into my Sinnoh, which is kind of kind of cool. They only have three energy here. Six, 180, 210. So I need another energy here anyways. Um, I need like two more, six, 180. So I need two more here, actually. Uh, all right, sure. So I could just go like Evolve. Evolve Sinnoh Knockout. I don't just doesn't feel like I do enough though. I'm doing enough though. This matchup honestly just feels really, really tough for this deck, but I guess we'll just go this route. And I'm oh I might want to be able to attack with another one prizer here though. That actually could swing the matchup, I guess. If I attack with a one prizer for a turn, that could swing things, right? Definitely could, definitely could. I don't know. Maybe go the better play is still to go after an Archeops though. Is the better play to go after the Archeops still? And they're going to come back with Lugia and knock me out. But then if I knock out this Lugia with one chops in play, they can't do a whole ton. I did get the Prime Catcher, so I could go that route. Um, how much is this thing doing right now? Uh, was it 150, 180? I could do it. I could Prime KO chops. They load up three non-double turbo energy on this. Or even a double turbo, I guess, works. They put three energy here, knock me out. I knock them out back. Um, with Weird Ear, I guess. And I knock this out. Then if they have Attach... Oh, no, but this thing's only... A, maybe that is just the best play. And just hope they don't find their stadium. Okay, now, the more I'm thinking about, the more I like going after the Chops. Alright, we're gonna go after the Chops. Because the hand's also just, like, locked out of being used as well. Okay, the more I think about it, the more I like this play, to be honest. Alright, punch. Doesn't seem great. And if they find their stadium, I literally just lose. But, if none of that happens, we're in a good spot. It feels like if I, yeah, it just feels like it's too hard to win the game if I don't do this play, to be honest. I've already got a ton of, I added the rescue board. I already got a ton of value out of the rescue board so far. All right, they knocked me out. Are you playing the one bit? Uh, no, I have no vitality band. Although I'm not, is that, does that fix that many numbers? We could definitely add it. How many numbers does that fix? If it fixes a lot of numbers, I'm down. 
Oh, that's how they bump my stadium. So now I just lose to this guy. Oh, that's true. They can just Tempest Dive bump my stadium there. T kills Pow, Lugia V. Do I just lose? <laughs> Yo, appreciate the uh, 100 bits there. Fresh. Oh. Dude, I honestly just want to concede. I just can't. They, now that they bought my stadium, I have no win condition, right? Well, no. If I KO this. Okay, hold up. Hold up. How many do we have in here? 11. So we're doing 120. Eighty. What if I like use this like boss, this thing, and then snipe KO the Lugia off the bench? I need another energy. I'm short one energy. Oh, I should have sent up this and retreated it off of it. Right, so now I miss misplayed. Um, I could big T snipe the Minchino, but I'm not scared of Minchino here. Oh wait, what if I snipe their only Archeops? Okay, what if I go? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, that's the play. Okay, we actually have a play here. I mean, it doesn't just win me the game, but it's something. It's something. <laughs> it's something. I should have uh, accelerated an energy here, though, actually, because I need this thing to be potentially pretty big. I need, yeah, I should have accelerated more energy into play there for sure. All right, this matchup's tough. All right, the, the Vitality Band honestly probably makes sense to include. Maybe even two of them. Maybe a couple of Vitality Bands. It actually, like, makes a difference. Do we know the decks for uh, from James and Jake? Not yet. I'll get their decks before we uh, before everything goes down. Uh. What did they just flip for? Aroma? Okay. <clears throat> so maybe it is like one at this point. They're down two double turbos. How many jet are they down though? Only one jet. Yeah, we probably still just lose. <laughs> we probably still lose. Um, Arvin does, be if we do add stuff like Vitality Man and stuff, Arvin does become better. That is for sure. How many boss do I have left too? Oh, hold up. They're stuck again. I assume they're stuck. I guess they could not be stuck. I just want to snipe again, right? I feel like I just want to snipe again. Such a that's so slow though. I could KO their active and Iona though, right? Iona to two KO active with the uh, the young Macha Splash. Okay, um, that's the play, right? Probably just Iona knock out active, and they can't KO my active currently. Okay, hold up, maybe this is coming together here. To be honest. Don't I know? Get some closer to Jet. Um, it's possible they have a Jet in hand though, right? And they just didn't play it. No, I guess if they, they just, maybe are missing boss. Doesn't Jet win them the game? Oh yeah, jet, also Jet doesn't win them the game. Boss wins them the game. And they could definitely have boss in hand. Also, what did they just Ultra Ball for? They'd Ultra Ball? They got a, okay. Ursa Luna, okay. I want to take that away from them as well, for sure. Um, okay. I actually should have played the nest ball here, probably. Because I could have nest balls for Weird Air. Because Weird Air carries any of the squad. Bench Deer, Ultra Ball, those two. Catch here, Iono. Hey, it's actually kind of coming together here. I do need a boss myself, though. Oh, because they could push up uh, Chinchino and pass. But we have a lot of draw power, so. Yeah, Macha Splash, baby. Let's get it. It's close. It's close. It's, this is definitely a tough matchup, but we kind of we kind of brought it together here a little bit at the end. We'll see if it works. So there's no bottom. There's no boss on the bottom of my deck. How many cards did I send to the bottom of my deck with that Iona though? Oh, I currently don't KO the Iron Hands either. Ah, oh, Ultra Ball for Luminian. Unlucky. Oh well. 
there was a good chance that they were gonna get there anyways but i think that was probably the best way to uh best play to make it. i was actually weird that they why not snipe iron hands because i only sniped for like i could only snipe for like 60 damage <laughs> like i could have rebrewed for snix uh for 60. and that's just like not enough there yeah rebooting there for 60 is just like not enough but <clears throat> yeah, I'll add a, a one vitality man definitely seems good here for sure. Hey, I got to run and do something real fast.